What's up guys and welcome to another Yo Duel Links video. So Selena has finally arrived in Yo Duel Links and she is one of the few powerful parts of Ray with her, Selena, Zuzu, Lulu and another one which I kind of forgot the name. They all form into one single entity known as Ray. So kind of like the Zark and the U boys, this is essentially the character for Ray. So it's finally nice to see that Ray, is, Ray aka Zuzu and the other counterparts are getting their own time to shine as well. So without further ado, let's check out the level of rewards and the unlocked condition for Ray as playable duelist. Complete the conditions of the 28th of July at 1pm. So two days from now, you can unlock Sol Lina as a play legendary, play legendary bleh, sorry for stirring, playable duelist and be her ace card and main archetype is Luna like monsters. So by having with that being said, that means the upcoming main box and mini box or mini box is gonna be Luna Light focus. And those of you who play Luna Light, rejoice as we are getting some new support for that archetype. There are new card sleeves as well as game maps for the event featuring Selena and Zuzu Boyle as you can see on screen right now. As well as another one featuring Selena and also Leo Dancer as the main art for the card sleeve and also for the game map. Event exclusive cards feature Lunar Light Blue Cat and also Lunar Light Serenade Dance, as well as other cards like Panther Warrior, Lady Panther, etc., and etc. going forth. So, without further ado, let's check out the main screen over there. You can check it check out for yourself right now. I played this event quite a bit when I when I was at work, anyways, playing on my phone. So I actually completed I completed a bit of points over there. I just want to leave this part for the episodes before I can proceed forward. So the first episode is accumulate some of the event keys, which are Selena's ribbons, as well as duel against her level 10. After you've done that, you unlock the conditions for episode 1, which is defeat Zuzu Boy at level 30 and get the completion rewards for episode 1. Episode 2 is complete event points and complete episode 1. Then episode 3 is episode is so going on so forth. Complete prior episodes before unlocking this episode, that's what they're trying to say. So if you go to the cumulative reward system, you can see that there is also a prismatic print for Lady Panther as you can see on screen right now, as well as a prismatic copy of Panther Warrior. I would actually enjoy having Panther Warrior as a prismatic card overall, because it will look great in the Joey deck, that's all I'm saying. And aside from that, you got the event keys and also the EX Trader which you can see for Selena's rewards. You, which the cards you can trade are basically the upgraded versions for a glossy or a prismatic copy of Luna Light Blue Cat, as well as the single copy of Luna Light Serenade Dance. I would advise you to actually reserve this until the end of almost the end of the event if you do not obtain your ex your second or your third copy of Luna Light Serenade. This will be an area or the place to get that last copy. But if you have any excess gems, you gotta trade for event boosters as you can see on screen right now. Or you can also go to upgrade your Luna Light Blue Cat if you want to. It all depends on you whether you want a prismatic or a glossy copy anyway. For me, it doesn't matter as long as it's a single copy, whether regardless whether it's a normal print, prismatic, or even a glossy copy overall. So, she'll appear at the gate, and right now we just got Duel against Zuzu Boil on screen right now. So, let's go ahead and defeat her, which I'll just skip anyway. So, see you, see you in a bit. Okay, and so just like that, you defeat her, and then basically Selena appears at the gate right now. So apparently she'll be at, oh, that's actually much better. I would have preferred this instead of defeating her level 10, level 20, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and go up against her at level 20 or level 30. I think let's go for level 20 first because I do not have enough event keys. Oh, okay, Rin. So the fourth one was Rin. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's a funny interaction right there.
Okay, so as per usual when you go, so when you go up against these kind of legendary duelists, it is recommended to use the event, event boosters like the result boosters, but if you're going for against Selena at a higher level, if you are unsure and you just want the extra form of insurance, use extra life or extra card. Don't worry, it's fine, that's what they're for. I'm, it's better to use them instead of letting them rot in the corner collecting cobwebs anyway. So let's go ahead and duel against Selena at level 20 because I did not have enough of the event keys. Yes, I still want to reserve some for later, of course. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what you got. No extra deck. That's sad. It's my show yourself. I'm with that. Oh, ah, that's cute. How adorable. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, your my your trap got just destroyed tonight. Add the tuner to the graveyard and I can sing your name. Let's go to the way. I'm going to play with single dragon. Wait, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let us go. I'm just gonna reserve this for later on. You'll see what I'll do later, just a little bit. Okay, we're clearing on the field. Let's see what else we got. Are you gonna set? Okay, that's cute. This is gonna be the end. So, let's bring out our red eye dice. Defense position actually doesn't matter. And we'll go into our level 8. Hydrate and say goodbye to Yak Set Card. Then we'll summon Speed Roid Ohaji Kid. Let's bring out a uh, not let's bring out one of the tuners, Speed Roid Carter Bow onto the field real quick. And we'll go into High Speed Kendama. Pretty much this is already overkill, but anyways. So let's activate the effect, banish Speed Roy Car Turbo from the graveyard along with Ohaji Kit. And then we'll go for direct attack of 3.8k in her face. So that was actually kinda that was actually kinda disappointing since at level 20 she doesn't have an extra deck. So most probably level 30 or level 40 she'll have one. But we'll see later on. And just like that, I'll give the reward system went up quite a bit. And that's basically a level 20 duel against Serena. And as per usual, once whenever you duel against these legendary duelists at, a, at different levels, you also get these event duels which can exchange at the card trader later on. So it's actually quite straightforward from there. Just keep dueling, fulfill the conditions, unlock all the different episode requirements, and that's about it. So anyways, that's it for the video on Selena. Although I'll add a bit of notifications in terms of what is up next for your duel links. The starter set for Book of Moon is, is, also, is also here right now as well as new accessories being added to the entire shop. There's also a limited time to upgrade certain cards. So first up, you can see our Salaman Grace and Goki cards overall when, as well as a few Time Lord cards being added. This is for you to upgrade, not for you to purchase at the card at the card trader at the card trader, so this is just an upgrade upgrade option only. So do not misinterpret it as oh I can find these at the shop and get it into my deck. No, you are just upgrading it to either glossy or prismatic, and that's about it. So anyways, that's it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time when we finally unlock Serena as play as a playable character, and we'll see what our level up rewards are. And we'll go from there and see how this goes. So goodbye, stay safe, good night, and have a great day ahead of you.